Hello and welcome back to the La Havre Foot Manager Save. Now I am back earlier than anticipated. I remember I initially said I'd come back more towards, if I can get the schedule up, I misclicked about three times. Yeah, more towards the Shatter and Nonce game here at the end of January. But something's kind of popped up that I felt like I had to show you. But before I get to that, I will show the games in the meantime. So obviously last time we saw the 1-0 loss to Auxerre and the 3-0 win over Toulouse. We followed that up with another 3-0 win in the league. Naughty Iron this time held Basile with a brace. Then had our first cup game against Chambly, which I think I might have rotated a little bit for. You can see a little bit of Aliou started up front. Um, Brazil decided to start because of that brace in the game prior, but didn't really make much of it. But yeah, just a little kind of the odd change and try to get some subs on. But um, yeah, calm little 2-0 away win. It's absolutely fine. And then we scraped by against Valenciennes, who I think might have sat their manager at some point. But yeah, Jamal Tiara again. So it's 1 0, is not anything to scream and shout about, but it's a win and a clean sheet, so that's all right. The main reason I've decided to come back is we did happen to draw FC Ruin in the cup, which obviously I don't know too much about La Havre. So if I did, it probably would have hit me the second I got the draw, but it was only the day before they kind of had a load of media interest about the fact that it was a derby you know, I remember now looking in the events here that um, as well as Khan that we've played before um, Ruin actually is the fierce rival and is another Norman derby so I feel like I had to show you it again they are I don't know if it's the league below us or um, it's two leagues below us in fact um, yeah so it should be relatively easy but it's a derby nonetheless so I thought I had to show you I think this is the team I'm going to go with. Again, slightly rotated. I've got Torre and young centre back, only 17, but bags of potential on him. And he kind of stands out in the key stats. His jumping's incredible. And the heading, marking, and tackling are all good. Even decisions and anticipation is good to see. Not so much on the ball, which is why he's probably playing as a central defender. Yes, he is. Well, both my centre backs do. Um, so that should hopefully not expose him. But. Um, from that, I've stuck with TRA just to kind of not kind of be safe, but just a chance for him to bash more in pretty much. Um, but if that is kind of looking like it's going away, I'll probably get Aliu on just to give him a chance. So you can see everyone's match load at the moment is light, as I believe this is our first game, yeah, after the Christmas break, which something else I wanted to show happened in that was. Um, both me and Jamal Tiara, I got manager of the year for League 2, even though I guess they're only really basing it off the start of the season, and Jamal Tiara got player of the year, so kind of no surprises with either, as those little wins are enough to take us back above Auxerre. I believe they dropped points to Clem on foot there. So yeah, we are back, top of the table, manager, manager the board seems to love what I'm doing. Tiara scored a ridiculous amount of goals, and if I show you the player details and if I can find goals here it is he is head and shoulders above anyone you could double all these players goals and they still don't get near him so it's just been incredible from him yeah I wanted to show you this cup game which does actually happen to be tomorrow I thought it was today the chance to actually open today as well so I need to think about if there is anything I can bring in I believe we actually got a fair bit of money come in because I didn't realise in another kind of player in the talent pool, if you will, of La Havre. Well, I don't know if he come from their youth. Um, someone called Emtino Kadawari, who I actually bought on a Nottingham Forest when I was doing, when I got to the Premier League. Although well, I didn't continue it too long. Well, I might go back to it, but basically the schedule of the game at the start of the Premier League season was awful. It was literally like playing all of the time. I think my first four games was four of the big six, as they're known. So, um... Yeah, it wasn't really ideal, to be honest. So, yeah, I kind of sat that one off. But yeah, Tino Kadawari, I believe they sold to Leon, and money actually come in through him, about 450k for the amount of appearances he made. So, a bit more in the bank now, and a bit of wiggle room in the wage budget. I can alter that if need be. If I'm probably going to bring in anyone, I think most of the things that have been scouted are probably like centre backs, because there's a bit, I mean, our best centre back's a three star. Perhaps looking at right back because your board is 32, and although Cooley Valley's a kind of good 
one to have waiting in the wing. I think it's this Cooley Valley that we've got two, so we've got complex. Yeah, a lot of potential in him as well. Um, he's still kind of maybe a chance to have a look at that position as well as centre back. And also maybe a bit in midfield if people like, I think Basco can be quite hold. I know he's all right age wise. Is it Fontaine? Am I making this up? Fontaine's 31, there you go. And also know that I think it's Bonnet is getting on a bit. So yeah, I'm trying to look in a couple of positions. I'm not exactly sure if I'll make any kind of move. Striker with Tiara is probably safe. And I've got Yelan Gomez out on loan, who's got a bit of potential. Ali, who's got potential. So Striker will be left alone unless someone decides to come in for Tiara. There has, the interest has gone now, but at one point there was interest. I can't blame French first division teams for being interested when he scored the amount of goals he has so far this season. So hopefully I can keep them at bay and we can keep Jamal Tiare and hopefully he can lead us to promotion. Did we see something happening earlier? Tiare does start to break down the left. I'm hoping he can take advantage of this lower league opposition. Just just swipe. Thank you so much. Charger on. Um, yeah. First chance for us, nothing really came of it as well, nothing did come of it. Hopefully we can get more as this half wears on. Encourage the boys quick and hopefully it has an effect. They now have a throne on the left hand side. We've instantly won the header, so I did try to slow it down to see if it makes the gameplay less choppy. I mean the way I do it through um OBS, I have to kind of record it through that and then remux it to like an MP4. None of this really matters to any of you, but um I think maybe that's where the issue lies or maybe the point where I get it onto a memory stick onto PlayStation is where the kind of choppiness comes because through the initial recording it's not there. So yeah, I'm not exactly sure. If anyone knows any better than or knows a better way of doing it with the face cam, then you let me know in the comments, that'd be much appreciated. But yeah, I'm doing what I can to try and see if there's a way to cut out the choppiness. There's TRA to blaze another one over there. Going for us now on our left hand side, goes it straight to him. Foreigns generally on this game I find hilarious. Kind of ball retention through throw-ins, like if it's yours, the chance of you keeping it seems to be about 50-50 at times, which is awful. You should always find a member of your team, and I'm amazed it happens with the manager so often, but nevertheless, here we are. Now on the right-hand side, we did actually keep the ball from the throw-in this time. The ball looks over down to Bazilo, just about keeps it on, probably move it inside now. He moves inside himself, make the players spread over to the left. At some point, thinking about it, continues to carry himself. Now, got it with Peter on the left. You see Meris. Gary slips one into Bazilo. This has to be finished. That's good football. That's some seriously good football, pretty much. Bazilo brings it over himself, moves into space. That would be a couple of little triangles with Peter out on the left. Meras gets Tiara involved. And intelligent bit of vision you'll see as Meras finds fucking Tiara to see that little gap open. Good run for Bazilo. And no knock on the finish straight into the corner so we are winding up in the first half is what we would have wanted I wouldn't have really wanted to drag it to half time at 0-0 and stats wise we shouldn't be we are all over them supposedly so chance again here to maybe look to get a second Monet looks back to Meros on the halfway line as he starts to come down the left Pito with it now trying to get towards the byline his cross is blocked but does fall to Fontaine and gets it in yeah, it would have been an impressive header, almost like Hernandez like to flick it back over himself, but just goes over the bar. I imagine this one will probably drift towards half time. It does. So I know half time is definitely ashamed of, especially the way we are dominating the stats. But nice to see a few more shots on target, perhaps. But overall, it's completely fine so far. That's so unfortunately nothing to show you at all from the second half. We do have something now in the 84th minute. Vasquez exchanging it with the forwards. Poor pass there, though, and we could pay for this is now Saloon whoever he is is in and thank God for Fafana because that would have been embarrassing to kind of run the whole game one slap pass and instantly pay for it would kind of be unjust but equally we couldn't complain too much as we've not done more than score a goal and this is why you need to open up goal cushions because you can dominate as much as you want one goal up but said all it takes is that goal and they're back in the game so we can put it to bed here if Tiara gets in the box a good save from the goal to be fair Really would have liked more goals than this one to be honest. You get a corner here, I don't imagine much. I'm more press reader, I think. Played the ball through for the um piece to have a chance a minute ago. We do actually win the header from the corner, but again into Montiero's hands. Board now with a free kick. Quick little one-two. 
you will probably look inside to find a centre mid Lacau. I have subbed on there. Then change it with Basquet. Now I've Deli in the back of midfield role. Good interception. Can they make something from here? And they only leave like two up the pitch. So if we are to concede from pretty much the two leagues up the pitch, that would also be pretty embarrassing. Not to mention, obviously, the fact that they're two leagues below us. So he's have Deli on side there. He just is. Yep. Yeah. Gary he's showed a different side of his game now. I was thinking like it's very rare for him to have a rating like that, like 7.7, .7, which may go up further now, but obviously he has got the two assists in their game, in this game, sorry, and they have been intelligent passes. He kind of waited, waited for that run to be complete. Found him. It's a good first time finish from Abdelio, I did also sub on for Bonnet in this second half. So we finally do get our second goal, and that will be enough. Again, I still would have liked more, but 2 0 again, it's a cup win against rivals and clean sheet again so those parts definitely can't be complained about but yeah we'd have liked more goals here we do have the 10th round draw I thought I'd show you I think you look now yeah the French first division teams did join last round they'll be primarily made up of us and well, our league league the, and Liga teams the odd kind of teams from leagues below so if we can get one of those that'd be nice we could easily probably move on into the 10th round then, sorry this is the 10th round, on to the 11th round, but yeah, just trying to really avoid the big boys, although it wouldn't be bad to go to um, the stadium cool to be fair, Park the Prince yeah, it wouldn't be bad to visit PSG in the Park the Prince, it would be fun to see at least, we could hold ourselves but they do go to Claremont, wait to see a redraw, we also avoid Monaco and Strasbourg, okay, so we do have a home tie and it is against Dijon, so it is first, Division opposition, they'll draw all teams now. Um, so it'll be an interesting test. They are obviously, um, obviously, but you can now see they are very low down in Liga and have struggled in the past few seasons. Um, let me find exactly who's in their squad, anyone of note. And Asale is a good silver. He played much with silver cards, but they do have Arthur Zagre online, who is. Full of potential himself, does belong to Monaco. I'd like to avoid playing him, but yeah, not crazy talented squad, so I can see why they are where they are. So yeah, we'll see how that goes, when that is, I'm not exactly sure. See if it's in the schedule yet. Yeah, it's not at the moment, so yeah, we'll have to see when that is and maybe we'll view it. Just as a first chance to play. Um well, Liga opposition, but yeah, that will come when it comes, essentially. We are back now. As you see, things have changed a little bit. This game basically was put after the last league game we played. So, it went cup, league game, cup again. So, I thought, I might as well show you the cup. It's probably going to be more exciting than the league game, which was against a struggling, I think, 18th place. So short at the time. We were still down there. Fortunately for us, however, despite dominating the stats, we never looked like scoring. Never really conceding either, but... You see, most of the high ratings come from midfield and defence. We just didn't really look like scoring at all, so a bit of a shame. But we do move on now to the Dijon game in the cup. Now, I've looked at a couple of signings in the meantime. Someone I kind of missed the boat on was... Um, get it up here. It was Jack Simpson here, someone I wanted. His chance has already been arranged to Real Salt Lake. I have looked at a couple other people. There was a left back, although that seems to perhaps have also fallen by the wayside. Oh, it wasn't left back, it was a right back. I wanted to replace Meras. Yeah, they're still having a little scan, trying to look at centre back, centre mids, wherever I can, but I'm only going to do it for like the money's good and the players' class, like Jack Simpson would have been if I did get there first. Nevertheless, we look at the team now for the Dijon game. This is going to require a bit of tweaking. There's some suspensions in here, there's some injuries in here. See the bench does shorten for these games. So probably will be the back four. I just wanted to bring Torre in, but probably best I leave it like that. Now it's the Basque and Fontaine as Lacau also did pick up an injury in training in that time. Um Lille will have to be replaced now. He got a cold right beforehand, which wasn't very handy. I'd send him home just for safety. Um, so I'm trying to think what we can do here. I mean, we can just move Bonnet out there, see how that goes. 
doesn't seem too technically familiar with that role, so let's see if Quinnita is more familiar. Certainly is, although only two star, but we'll go with it anyway. One I can come on either left or cam if necessary. Other than that, Abdelli Pito Tiara is probably what I want. Eventually we full up of pretty much everyone who's fit other than Butai, who I have had a offer accepted for. I decided to cancel this. He doesn't want to be here, he wanted more game time and I suppose it's like you can't play the Tiara, look at those stats and he didn't want to hear it basically. So he's now gonna be shipped out abroad, but it was like a game against Dijon. I mean mainly I just want to kind of to give a good account of ourselves. I'm not necessarily expected to beat them, but keep it tight basically for as long as possible, and that will kind of show that maybe we've got a bit of quality here already to try and compete in the first French division. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'm going to talk about keeping it tight. The 35th minute here, the first highlight, well, not only the first highlight, but there haven't been a shot at all yet, let alone one on target. But Guanete does steal it from the throw in just wide. If he had finished that, that would have been lovely. Literally would have come from nothing. You see these are well, apparently it was a shot before and we're starting to get them off now, but yeah, literally it's been a very kind of dull first half. I said I wanted to keep it tight and tight it has been. <laughs> this is a nil-nil half time barely any shots. I won't mind it if it kind of stays like this, hopefully we can nick something. Yeah, let's we'll see how the second half goes. And so now we have seen a potential 500 to CR is really struggling this game anyway, no 6.2, so we get Aliou in and hopefully that's not a bad injury for him. Is, Obviously, we literally are where we are mainly because of this man. So, if there's not a major injury, and hopefully Ali who can pop up and perform for us, and hopefully nick a goal. We head into the final, or towards the final 15 years, we'd have a free kick. Taking short of Basco, we'll move it further inside to Fontaine. He does start to build our way through the pitch now. We'll probably look out right to Bonnet, who has come on for Cornetto. He wasn't really up to much either. Or cross, to be fair, Stenton Hounds, the goalie. See what they can do from their keeper here. Throws straight to the off-way line, to be fair to him. They start to build now. Looking around their midfield. Looks like Alexander Teto, if it is. Interesting to see him again. They're now on the left-hand side. Bonnet does win it back, straight back to Teto, though. Changed really well, just a random ball through to Asale, and that's probably going to be a finish, and yes, it is. It is their first shot of the game, but it's certainly the first highlight they've had, so it's a shame to concede to it. And kind of maybe we've lulled into a false sense of security with the way they're knocking it around in the field. A sudden ball through, the silo's on the wrong side of. I'm not sure which one of our centre backs that is. Ward or Soy, but um, yeah, shame to concede, but I can't be too surprised. Hopefully we'll see what we can do in the final 15 minutes. I'll switch to attacking now, just send it basically. A little more sub if I got it, although there's nothing really game changing I can do. No, not at all. Some five players out there, but we're going to remember for Fontaine, but Fontaine's having a good game. So I don't want to do that either. Just have to leave it as it is and see if we can do anything. We have to that piece here, Fontaine does whip it in. One well, he's got on it, is it the bar and it is cleared? Well, that was our chance, well, it was our chance right there, probably. No surprise we get another, we'll see what happens in the corner, it is cleared. And that might have been the moment we needed and didn't take. That will probably be it for us. Which it is, yeah. So we certainly gave a good account of ourselves, said edged them on stats, possession, shots. XG is all in our favour, pass completed. We certainly had our chances, that one at the back post there for Bonnet and Bonnetay in the first half. Just didn't take them, the one they had, they did, so there's probably that first division quality coming in from them. Yeah, it's a shame to go out, but certainly wasn't in a embarrassing manner. I don't want to take a dump on them like my assistant manager recommends. Yeah, shame about the cup. I'd say kind of it is early on, but it's in a round where you do bump into first division size, so it doesn't make it hard to see here. Okay, he's only out for a day, that's absolutely fine. So let's listen to that. <clears throat> Youth players. Oh, he played against PSG, bless him. They're absolutely battered. There was anything in the vision for how they want us to do in that? I reached the 10th round, which we did, so fair play, we passed on that front. And again, they wanted top half and work within the wage budget, which is also happening completely fine. Trying to build those youth systems, which 
but we have got great new facilities, good academy coaching, good youth recruitment. I do want to up those when I can. I may try and have a chat with the board to see if they will listen to anything I can. So I think I've already done everything I can on that front, yeah. So as to when we'll come back now, we did also drop because of that draw, I forgot to mention in the league. We are behind the walks there and kind of one of our local rivals, Khan, are also right up our arse. So it will certainly be interesting between us three. We clearly do seem to be the best three teams in the division. Yeah, as to when we'll come back, I'll have a look. Probably won't, this will be it for January, so at the other end of January I'll explain any transfers we've made. And I may come back for Rodez and the JCOs, I believe, at JCO if I quickly look. Have a competitive rivalry, rivalry, rivalry with, so, yeah, game on TV, not that really makes much difference to us. But Rodez are a decent side, of it. this is all good. Let's see it again. Yeah, and the JCO with the competitive rivalry. That'll be mid-February, so see for those games. Obviously, fill you in with the four games between those. But if you have stuck around for this series, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.